Yo, what's up? It's Jamani. Um, you know, in a lot of my videos for a long time since I've been controversial, I've always taken responsibility. I've tried to be humble and I've learned to be that over time as well because nobody cares about, you know, personally, at least for me, nobody cares about my personal emotions and why I made the choices that I made and what I'm going through because at the end of the day, we all got our own problems. Now, I don't always talk about, you know, like my living condition. I show you, I'm sleeping on the floor. Uh, I have a suitcase that I have all my clothes in. I probably have like, I have like 30 videos where I'm showing you my living condition, but I don't actually tell you what's really going on. Like what is on the other side of my living condition. And that's because that's nobody's business. Now, um, at the end of the day, I'm 100% responsible. I will always take responsibility because I've been a gambling addict for a long time. Started gambling when I was 19 and really haven't stopped since. And that's the reason why I'm in the position that I'm in in the first place. So, uh, well, my bad, sorry. I'm, I'm not gonna edit anything out. I'm just gonna keep this like it is. But, um, you know, for a long time, you know, being homeless was something that was a real possibility for me. And, pro and the probability is, you know, it's only a matter of time until I'm homeless. Now, with the living conditions that I'm I'm in, um, I've been I've been threatened to get kicked out multiple times over the years. You know what I'm saying? Uh, fortunate enough, it never happened. Now, with today, today's just a situation where I got threatened to kick out, get kicked out again. Now, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? You never know somebody. You know when somebody is pushed to their limit, and you know I've been pushed to my limits as well. Um, I don't want to say too much, but I think I've said this before, like my living condition is not good. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not talking about sleeping on the floor. You know what I'm saying? And that's all I'm going to say. Like my whole living household, it's, it, you know, a lot of people got a lot of things going on in their households. And, and I'm one of those people that, you know, I got some serious things going on in my household and I'm forced to live in it because I have nowhere else to go, you know, and I've never, you know, for a long time, you know what I'm saying? I've always been forced. And my gambling addiction is is the thing that kept me from being able to maintain my jobs and get my own apartment and have some, and it's not just my gambling addiction, it's me too. Like emotionally, mentally, I haven't been stable with being happy with who I am and where I'm at and what I have and just overall life choices. So I'm making this vlog to say, if I do get kicked out, which I don't know, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I was, I just was told to get out, but again, I've been told to get out plenty of times. Um, but if I do get kicked out, if this is one of those serious times, I will be going viral. I will be forced to, you know, it's, it's not, it's not even about like, I will literally be forced to leave. And with that, I would be forced to find a way to provide for myself. So I'm just gonna be on the streets going viral. I'm be going to jail, I get out of jail. I'll be, I'm gonna do that until, I don't know, until something, until an opportunity comes. Um, if a, if an opportunity comes, but that's that's always been the thing I was kind of scared of the most was like, you know, it, it might be as simple as, oh, you know, go join the military or go get this job or, I mean, 10 years ago, yeah, I'm 30 now. You know, I've dug myself so deep into this hole, I could have did a lot of those things. Unfortunately, just the way how I am as a person, I just didn't accept it. And that's why I always take responsibility because I know it's my fault for why I'm in the position that I'm in. So, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Uh... I'm just going to see like what the vibe is like with, the, you know, again, like I said, I've been, I've been threatened to get kicked out plenty of times. And honestly, I want to leave, you know, I have to leave. It's just because I'm a gambling addict and because I'm an unstable person and I can't keep a job and don't want to keep a job where I, that it, like, I'm kind of, I'm, this is a, the position that I'm in. It allows me to be the way I am and have a place to stay. But if I try to go get it on my own, um, 
with not with you know what I'm saying it's just again I'm just too mentally unstable I'm too emotionally unstable um for me to like really get myself together so I'm just saying that uh I I got to always prepare for the worst and I got to always take responsibility um but like I said I'll probably know within the next day or so a couple days I don't know you know as far as in is this going to be like a real situation where am I really getting kicked out? Again, as of right now, I was just told to get out. But I've been told to get out plenty of times. So it's like when you got to love, love, when it's love, and but there's also like, you know what I'm saying? You have a unconditional relationship with family. You know, it's, you know what I'm saying? There's a love there, but then there's like, get out my face type type of thing too. And sometimes that's just... You know, it is what it is, but you know, I'm tired of my circumstances and I always felt like, you know, based off the way I am and the patterns that I had, it's probably better for me to just go out there and just gamble with my, with, with the chances of, of becoming viral, you know, because long term, that might be more beneficial to me. It comes with a lot of consequences. And even though I've done it before, I've never done it consistently. And that's why I'm still at still in the position that I'm in. So I'm just I'm just making this vlog to say that, you know, this is really through the struggles. Like, um uh again, I, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? So, like I said, sometimes people just need their space and uh I've been through this before and then sometimes things blow over, but I don't know. You know what I mean? It's it's a tough situation, but I'm just saying this I'm just making this vlog just because if it is a situation where, you know, this this time is kind of serious, like you really got to get out the house. Um, I'll kind of be for I'm a, I'm gonna be forced to just go out there and just start acting crazy uh, to the highest degree possible until I could find a place to stay or find get enough income to do something or I don't know, you know, what I'm saying because by that time, I probably have a criminal record. So. I want it's not like me being being able to get jobs is gonna be as easy again. So I don't know, you know what I mean? All I'm saying, I'm just saying that because I'm I'm making daily vlogs right now and I'm kind of documenting a little bit of things that's going on in my life. And this is something that's been consistently going on over time. But again, like I said, most times it kind of just I just blow it over. But you know, sometimes everyone has a, a tolerance where, you know enough is enough for them and I'm not perfect nor is anybody in my family but you know I, I burn a lot of bridges too so you know uh, there is no place for me to go and if there is I don't know because I, I know I don't talk to nobody I'm always by myself but it is a it'll always be a temporary situation like a month two month get a job pay some bit like I wouldn't be able it'll be a completely different situation that I'm used to and not that there's anything wrong with that but at the end of the day, I put myself in a situation when I made the choices to chase my dreams and I didn't have real structure on how to actually catch my dreams, um, you know, and I didn't have any backup plan. This, this is what happens when you want to make it to the NFL and don't have a backup plan. You know, you try to be a rapper and you don't have a backup plan and then you fall into a gambling addiction. This, this is what happens. <laughs> You know, and I'm probably going to end up on the street. So, I don't know, man. Uh, I'm not sure how much value this is going to be. Like, I got to think about things like this. See, I took down my microphone. I ain't been making music, but... Um, I'm just I'm just putting that out there. So, I'll kind of... If, if things kind of like ease, easing out and it's kind of like, all right, it's one of those situations where it's like, you know, they get over it, uh, then I probably regret even making this video. But this is a real situation and I've been going through this, you know, every, it's kind of like every five to six months where, you know, something happens where it's like, all right, you got to get out. You know what I mean? And it's, and, and it's a crazy situation because it's not really me. But that's the like, and y'all know I take responsibility, and that's why I can't say too much because I don't like talking about other people all the time. But the the living condition is like, I got to deal with someone else's problems, though they're dealing with my they're dealing with me too. Not to say that I'm not a problem because I am, but 
it's it's crazy. It's a crazy situation. And I don't even want to put that out on the internet because even for me, that's too much information because I only like talking about me and I don't even like talking about me all the time, but I'm just, I got to look at the reality. If, if my family is kind of like, nobody's going to take me in, um, which is my fault, by the way, because I definitely gave a middle finger to everybody, then I have to accept the consequences to that, which is being homeless. And immediately, if I go homeless, I'm going to start doing videos that as soon as I become homeless. So you'll see me going viral or I'll probably be in jail or something like that. So I just, you know, I'm humble and I try to remain humble. Uh, you know, you never know when someone feel like they got pushed too far or when they just don't want to deal with something no more. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to say that, like, it's just a real situation right now, but you know, I, I've been through this before. So, uh, hopefully this just is a video that I'm just making because, you know, I had a little altercation that, you know, it just, it's just foolishness really, but yeah. Um, I don't know. Hopefully I won't be going viral and I could stay on my blow up bed because I'd rather be on a blow up bed than be outside, you know what I'm saying, homeless. But uh, yeah, I feel like that. I don't need to say no more than that. <sighs> yeah, whatever happens, I just, I just hope the, res I just hope, well, it it's on me at the end of the day, no matter what happens. So I'm done talking, you know, I'm talking, what am I saying right now? But this is a real situation. I'm really making this video because I really just got threatened to get, I just got told to get, get out the house, but people left and you know what I'm saying? I let people cool down or whatever. Uh, and I don't know, hopefully, you know what I'm saying? Things work itself out. <laughs>